So the strategy that that we used to launch our DevOps program, um, we did initially, uh, you know, we used the consulting company to come in and help us do an analysis on uh, where we were at. Um, so we started looking at uh, sort of the, some larger DevOps capabilities. So if you think automated deployments, automated code scanning, automated, you know, provisioning of infrastructure, uh, so we did an assessment on where we were at and an assessment on where the value was for Duke Energy. And that assessment went on for probably three or four months, um, and it helped us lay out a where we thought the most value was. And it, and it did affect the way that we ended up spinning up the teams, at least the order that we spun up the teams. Uh, so we, we put a focus on a couple things initially. One of those was source code management consolidation. Uh, you know, being a utility company, Duke have lots of they have lots of mergers over the years, and one of the things that was never consolidated was source code management systems. So when we started this, we had 13. So the very first initiative we kicked off was how do we do a consolidation? You know, down to and we ended up going down to two actually. Um, and because the one of the main reasons we wanted to do that first was you know, source code management system is the entry point into your DevOps tool chain. Um, and what we didn't want to have to do was integrate 13 different source code management systems into our tool chain. So, you know, just for ease of use, we wanted to make sure that was first, that we were tackling integration only to two source code management systems instead of 13. Um, the second thing we focused on was, was really infrastructure provisioning. Um, how do we... Uh, you know, look at how quickly we can spin up uh, images for our application teams, and then the, manage the configuration of those. So um, that was one of the the second team we ended up spinning up was to was to tackle that. Um, and then we then after that we began focusing on some of the other problems that came in. Automated testing was one that came up real quick. So our testing team spun up. Uh, we didn't really have a solution in place for automated um, testing. So we had to go through and vet and then stand up some tools uh, for that. So uh, as we went through, we we did have to pivot a little. I think, you know, if you've worked with any consulting companies, that w the answer they give you doesn't exactly turn out to be 100% correct. Um, so we took the plan that we laid out there and then we pivoted as we realized um, new areas of value that were coming in or things that were higher than maybe we initially thought. Um, and then we did get into some work where um, it got ranked a little bit higher maybe than it should have been. So we ended up having to move that work to later on. So I would say that would be some advice I give is make sure you're always assessing um, what your strategy is because it, it does change over time. 